weightlessness. Why imagine it when you can actually experience it? Just hop on a zero gravity plane and you'll be weightless. Weightlessness, ah. Oh. In no time, all without ever having to leave Earth. Planes that allow you to experience weightlessness aren't that different from typical passenger aircraft. Most zero-G flights occur on Airbuses. So how does a zero-gravity flight work? Planes fly along a radical flight pattern resembling a parabola. Three pilots simultaneously control the plane during parabolic flight, each in charge of a specific axis. One pilot controls the pitch of the plane, or the nose-up and nose-down angle. This is the most difficult of the three axes to control. A second pilot controls the roll movement, keeping the wings horizontal and stable. The third pilot handles the engine speed and monitors flight parameters. After reaching a safe altitude, one of the pilots starts a sharp climb, lifting the nose of the plane up by 50 degrees. This is the pull-up, the upward approach toward the peak of the parabola. The plane peaks at 426 miles per hour during this maneuver, subjecting everyone on board to a gravitational force 1.8 times greater than what's on the ground for about 20 seconds. Once the pull-up is complete, the plane can finally enter the phase of weightlessness. The pilots gradually reduce the plane's engine speed as it approaches the peak of the parabola, and then it free-falls. At this point, there's a brief 22-second window where the opposing forces of gravity and the falling plane immediately cancel each other out. Thus, there's weightlessness. These 22 seconds start and end at an altitude of roughly 25,000 feet, peaking at nearly 28,000 feet in the air. The plane then enters the pull-out phase of its flight path. It accelerates downward, subjecting passengers once again to 1.8 g before stabilizing to a more conventional horizontal path. So what does this feel like? The sudden shift can cause blood to rapidly flow to your head, which could be very nauseating for some. This is why zero-gravity planes are also known as the Vomit Comet. Despite the initial discomfort, people are able to do all sorts of things during zero-gravity flight. Some people board these flights as part of their astronaut training. Others use the unique conditions of zero-gravity flight to perform scientific experiments. Creatively inclined people have even shot music videos. Were you scared? Were you cold? Were you and films on these flights. The possibilities are endless, and the best part is, anyone could book themselves a flight on a zero-gravity plane and do whatever they want. <laughs>